Okay, we got some word problems here. So we're gonna go through four typical types of word problems that you can see and work through and make sure we're comfortable with these uh, types of problems. Okay, so the first problem says there's twice as many males as females and there's 402 people in the class. How many females are in the class? Okay, so we start off, we know we have 402 total, right? And we're gonna say twice as many male, females as males, we said, right? So we're gonna say, so we wanna have like the same variable. So we have 2x plus x equals 402, right? The x represents the males, 2x represents the females, right? So we got these together, 3x equals 402, we want to just solve for x first, and then we'll worry about 2x, right? And x equals 168, can you do that? 2x, oops, x equals 134, my bad, 2x equals 268, okay? We add those two together, it gives us our total of 402, and so what we're saying here is the female number is 268, male number is 134. Alright, here's our first one. So I do that. Okay, the next one. So it says we go 180 miles in 40 minutes. Assuming that we continue at exactly the same pace for the whole trip, how far did we go in the first 15 minutes? So right off the bat, what you'd like to kind of do is think, well, too bad it wasn't 20 minutes, right? Because then I could just divide 180 by 2 and know that I went 90 miles. All right, given that it says 15 minutes and that's less, we know that this answer is going to be less than 90. So that should be in our mind right away. Anything that's above 90, you can go ahead and cross out that answer. All right, so a simple formula here. So we have 40 over 180. All right, so that's 40 minutes, 180 miles equals 15 over x. So this is really the key to make sure that we set up this formula correctly. All right. 40 minutes over 180 miles equals 15 minutes over how many miles? We wanna make sure we didn't put like X over 15 because then we get backwards answer. All right, cross multiply 40X equals 2,700. That's 180 times 15. Divide by 40 each side, X equals 67.5. All right, and that would be our answer. That makes sense. It's a decent amount less than 90. Like we said in the beginning, that's how we do those. Third one. Okay, so you have two maps, right? Two maps, and we say one centimeter on the first map equals 10 miles. On the second map, one centimeter only equals five miles. Okay, and then they say, what is the difference in between map one and map two for one square centimeter, right? So then you just need to know how to set this up. So all you really do, pretty simple, is you square both of them and subtract them, right? So you have 10 squared minus five squared equals what? Then we have 100, 10 squared is 100 minus five squared, 25. And we end up with 75, right? And so that means that one, the difference in one square centimeter is 75 miles. Got one more to go. These word problems, right? Which really they're not that hard mathematically. We just have to know how to set up each of these and then you're gonna get the right answer. All right, apples and bananas. Um, so you have like a basket of apples and bananas. And then it says you have five more apples than twice the number of bananas. And then they will give you a bunch of options as far as what formula is correct. So the correct answer is gonna be a minus, and again, A represents apples, uh, B represents bananas. A minus five equals two B. Okay, so the temptation, and for sure one of the options that they will give you is A plus five equals two B. And for a lot of people at first glance, it looks like that is the answer that's correct because it said five more, right? But if you think of this for a second, five more apples than twice the number of bananas. So if I took five of those apples away, then I would have exactly twice the number of bananas, right? And so that's why it is A minus five equals two B rather than A plus five. 